Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you've all been well. Just want to say welcome and thank you to all my new and current subscribers. So I thought I'd just do a quick layout tour, show you what I've been working on over the last few months. We'll start with this uh, little scene here. So this is a background building that I scratch built. I've added me static grass. Also found these homeless 3D resin printed figures on eBay. I think they were pretty neat, so I just cleaned them up a little bit, painted them. Looks like old mate shed his pants, must have had a big night on the town. A couple of other brothers over here, but down on their luck. I've added some rubbish to the ground, it's just bits of paper and cardboard, a little bit of balsa wood. Been adding me static grass. It's just a mixture of three mil, different greens and yellows. This adds a good bit of variety, doesn't keep it all looking the same. So I'm pretty happy with how that scene turned out. Moving on to the road over here, I decided to repaint it a lighter grey. And then I've just used some black weathering powders to get the sort of tracks or tyre tracks you see in the middle of the lane sometimes. And I've made sure to add some different colour variations here and there. Makes it look a bit more realistic. I was going to start building the second module, which is going to join on to it. But I um, had a bit of an accident at work, so I'm not going to be able to do much building anytime soon. But basically the second module, it's going to be the same as this size, 2 metres long, 600 wide. And that'll just join on to the end. I've been applying a lot of ground cover over here. This is just a, a bit of a neglected bit of track coming out of the tanker facility. And same thing, it's just a mix of yellows and greens. This fence here, I'm going to make up some more of that and it's just going to work its way around the whole tanker facility. End up over there. Um, I think I said in the last video, I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep this as a tanker facility. I was thinking about making it like a lumber storage yard, somewhere where you can load up the flat cars or centre beam cars, plywood. And then I was going to do a new tanker facility on the new module. Sorry about the shakiness too guys, pretty hard hobbling around in this buddy moon boot. So I added a few details to this little yard office here and went for the red and white colour scheme. I'm thinking about swapping this out and doing some of those individual oil loading racks. This is all going to be weathered up as well. Also repainted it, I went a lighter grey. Just think it ties in a bit better with the rest of the scenery. And that's a good thing with model railways, you know, nothing has to stay the same. Got some more static grass and ground foam between the tracks here. Pretty happy with how it all turned out. Over on this area here, I'm still unsure what I'm going to do. I was thinking of either doing like a little container yard or another scratch built building. A little bit undecided yet. Tell me what you think, what do you reckon will look better? Container yard or go like a big scratch built warehouse and then back to the scenery, just been putting more bits here and there. It's just a mix of the three mil static grass again and foam and clump foliage, a couple of little bushes there. Moving on to our culvert scene over here. Now we still got our dead body. To get that water effect, I just got some hot glue which I smeared out and then just dry brushed it with white paint and then the ripples you can see there that's just done with white glue which I spread around I think it looks pretty realistic pretty stoked with it I also repainted the culvert as well same thing I was happy with how it looked originally but by the time you go and add all your greens and yellows it really does change how things look so I just went a bit lighter with it and did some weathering on it and yeah it's all coming together over here at Max Merchandise. Nothing too much has changed there. Still got to add a bit of scenery down the sides and a few other small details, but not looking too bad for now. I've also got to add the um, backdrop along the back there, but I think I'll just wait till I build the second module. That way I can run one nice one along there, make sure everything all matches up. And then I'll move on to doing the fascia board along the front. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. 
stay safe and I'll see you on the next one. I also got myself a new desktop computer. My laptop finally shed itself. Wasn't, wasn't able to run the editing software that I was using. To do a four minute video would literally take me 12 hours to edit. And it was purely because the laptop just couldn't run it. It would take hours to render. And it was just a pain in the ass. That's one of the reasons why it's been so long between videos. I just lost the love for doing any editing just because it was painful. You know, there was no fun in it. So treated myself to this setup. Pretty stoked to see how it's all going to run. See you guys.